Welcome to the channel guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a submarine in Simple Rockets 2. Well, more specifically like the ballast, so you know it's not just a boat, it's a, you know, actual submarine you can go up and down in the water. So yeah, let's get started. Alright guys, so welcome to Designer. So in real life, craft submarines have ballast, and these work through pulling in water, and releasing it, you know, effectively changing the weight, which it changed their buoyancy. So yeah, unfortunately we don't have that, but we do have fuel tanks that we could transfer weight between and tinker panel. So I'll explain how to do this in just a second as soon as I get this on 180 degrees. Now, after an embarrassing amount of time, I was able to get it centered, which is what you're going to want to do. Uh, yeah, so basically put in the center of craft, and then I like to choose a fuel like xenon because you're probably not gonna use it. If you do use it, that's kind of weird. But hey, I don't judge. So yeah, do that. And then you're gonna wanna basically duplicate this fuel tank. So now you have two fuel tanks, both have xenon. Now, next part, I don't like too much because it involves the tinker panel, which I'm not a big fan of. But unfortunately, it is unnecessary evil so we're gonna have to use it so basically on the top tank i lowered the mass down to zero and on the lower tank you just leave it as is or you can increase it it doesn't really matter oh yeah and make sure you get rid of the fuel in one tank so now what this does means that you can transfer the fuel between each tank and it will effectively change the weight just like how ballast works in real life so yeah i'm going to show you oh yeah i forgot to tell you that yeah Make sure the heavy fuel tank, the one that's gonna have weight to it, is aligned with the center of mass. Or else when you put weight into it, it's gonna uh, pitch your craft one way or the other. So yeah, pretty simple. It's a pretty simple concept. That's it. So let me show you how it works. All right guys, so welcome to the waters outside the Drew Space Center. So now I'm gonna be going over how to use this system as I previously said. So I'm going to be showing you how to use the fuel transferring system. Now some of you know, may know how to use this system, but for those who don't, I'm going to go over it. So first off, you have the all tanks and set or the selected tank sort of thing. So I recommend you put it on the selected tank. Um, and you can also pin both of the fuel tank sort of tabs. So those are two things to start off I recommend with. Now, there are three buttons as you can see. There's the drain, uh, fill, and like the middle, whatever, don't do anything button. So yeah, if you set the top tank to drain and then the bottom one to fill, as I'm doing here, as you can see, the submarine will start to sink. That is because you're transferring fuel from the tinkered uh, fuel tank that has zero mass to the one that does have mass. So what this does, it's converting that fuel into mass, and so yeah. As you can see, the submarine goes down. Pretty simple. Now, if you reverse it, um, it goes up. So that's basically all that there is to the system. So yeah, I'm gonna go over a last few things, uh, a few tips, stuff like that. So yeah. Now, the first tip I wanna talk about is keeping the mass low. So this thing weighs about 15,000 kilograms. Now, unfortunately, you can't really make super heavy crafts because the ballast can only do too much. Or so much, I mean. <laughs> um, so I mean that because while well, you can continuously add mass, you can't really do it the opposite of way. Because, you know, if I pull it out of fuel tank here, just give me a second here. Uh, the buoyancy can only go from 0 to 200. Now, you can do XML and boost it up to crazy numbers. But, I mean, I don't recommend doing that. So, I mean, just keep that in mind. Try to keep it lighter. Um, you know, you don't really need too much fuel. You, don't, you only need some batteries and the ballast. That's all you need. Now, the other thing that's a colossal pain in the butt is finding the center of buoyancy. Now, unfortunately, it does not show you where that is. So you gotta figure that out, where it is, and align it with the center of mass. 
So, um, you know, you just build the entire craft, then, and only then, do you do buoyancy. You know, um, because if you balance the craft in its early stages, then, and then at the very end, you try to test it out, it's not going to work. You have to rebalance the entire thing, and it's a colossal pain. Trust me, I made this mistake with this craft. You do not want to repeat it. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, I guess the only other thing you want to keep in mind here is that when you put a new part in, or drag a new part from the parts list, it typically has buoyancy. So what I recommend is just, you know, remembering that parts have buoyancy, so change that. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. And that you guys have a fantastic day. I hope to see you guys again. You can watch a few of my other videos. And I have a few other videos in the works. So yeah, have a good one.